place is like a gold miner's dream. It's got such good, perfect geological formations. Look at those, that bedrock over there, those perfect crevices. Giant boulder field. And this is what we talk about, California, man. Big, big boulders, sometimes means big gold, too. Paul's dug a hole over here in between two big boulders. I'll have to show it to you. But we've been finding good, consistent gold out of it. Now, this is actually the first time I've used this plastic sluice. But to be honest with you, I kind of like it. You know, it's not as stout as, as the big metal sluices and stuff, but... Yeah, I see it right there. It's not even getting past that. That's bizarre. It's catching the little ones. <laughs> see, we're back to the same thing with that rubber design riffle, okay? That, that term, modulus contact of elasticity. And it's, act, it's almost acting like a magnet on the gold. I can see a piece right there. Yeah. Look, one, two, three, four, nice. I classify those as pickers. You know what? The ripples are working good, though. They're working excellent, yeah. And I do like you have the small ripples with the tall ripples. So this would work a little better in, let's say, slower water velocity. This works a little better in higher water velocity. But it really appears that we're catching the bulk of our gold right here up in the very top. I can see it from this angle here now. Now, normally, we probably wouldn't feed the sluice box quite this slow. But the reason we are feeding it slow is because we have a lot of clay in the material. And when you have a lot of clay in the material, you want to run it a little bit slower. You have to give the time you have to give time for the clay to break down and disseminate. Now you also got to remember we're being cautious too because we found good gold here and we don't want to take a chance of losing it. And we're also running unclassified material, so we have to run a little bit more speed to carry the big rocks out. There's the big one. One of the ways that I determine whether I'm running my sluice box correctly or not is I'll take a small rock somewhere between a golf ball size and a marble size piece and drop it into the flare. If the rocks tumble through the sluice box at a slow pace, I know I've got it running about right. If the rocks just blast through without tumbling, it's too fast. If it just sits there, I have to add some additional water or pitch the sluice at a slightly steeper angle. Show you the hole we're, we're digging in here. What you'll see down in here, it seems a little hyper on the focus, is um, our nice root structure. There's a nice clay layer. There's like a gravel bed. And you can see the water's coming from uh, right to left. So you're going to get a, it's like a back eddy that sucked the gold in. But it's the tree roots and the clay layer that seems to be carrying all the gold. So it's pretty OK. You can see the gold just hanging in these small ripples here. It's a new design that we're trying out here. And uh, I have a nice little pocket up here where I'm uh, digging in and I'm getting uh, right down to the clay now and the clay just seems to be hanging on to all the gold. So we're just running it through kind of slow here. And if you go too fast, the clay will roll down and take the gold right out with it.
I'm going to try to suck up with my snuffer bottle. They might be a little too big for the bottle, so I'll have to use my bigger one. We'll give it a shot here, see what happens. All right, we'll pick it up. So I'm going to have to use my bigger snuffer here to suck up that little chunk there. It's a picker, so I might as well get it in all before it goes down in my ripples. And I have so much clay that there's a chance a piece might drop in there and roll right out with my gold. So I'm going to grab it while I can see it. There's one. There's two. I have one more in there yet. I'm going to try and get it. There we go. Picked up about five pieces out of there. Now we'll just try and uh, run some more of this clay material in there. And if we see any more big ones, well, we'll just pick them right out. We're going to start cleaning out our sluice box here now. To see exactly how much gold we have in it. And you could see it in the ripples up here when we were doing it. So we know there's gold in there. Now we'll just wash her down into our bucket. That's fine. 